the yolo world model is an open vocabulary detector that is given the model you can provide the classes that you would like detected in an image in a video series and it will be able to do some detections no pre-training required no fine-tuning required on your specific data set and you'd be surprised how good it works welcome back to the channel guys my name is Roop and in this video we are going to show you the setup and demonstration of YOLO world specifically on some mining videos in the mines there are so many different tasks for computer vision to solve for example uh, detecting uh, uh, people detecting persons in the mine or detecting whether uh, the workers in the mine are wearing their personal protective equipment for the safety and security of the mine workers and the operations of the mine itself in this demonstration uh, and the setup video will show you how uh, we're able to do this using yolo world with good speed with high fps and also with good accuracy so to begin guys here on the screen you can see the yolo world model uh, on the alternatix website and they have explained the architecture for the model over here as well as given some key features of the model uh, the most important key feature here is that it's a real-time solution given that it's an open vocabulary detector it has been trained with um, with capabilities of vision language models that is uh, it has the capability to take in text as well as images and produce the output um, it is real time which makes it very applicable in industrial settings uh, and the efficiency and performance for this model is also very good now guys let's look at the setup and a demonstration using yolo world on some mining videos uh, so to begin uh, let me show you some uh, example input video so here on the screen uh, this is the folder where we have our notebook and this is the input video uh, so it's it's a, a video that we have taken off the internet and this video over here um, has some workers in a mine and we will do some inference on these uh, folks on this video using the yolo world model and then we'll see how it performs so here guys here is the notebook for uh, using the yolo world uh, so the setup is pretty straightforward in your notebook you need to run pip install ultralytics to install the ultralytics framework once you have done the installation then you can run this command so let's do that uh, from ultralytics import yolo uh, here in this command all we are doing is we are loading the yolo world model so guys if you don't have the weights for yolo world downloaded uh, the this command will download the weights to your working directory for example here you can say uh, you can see the yolo v8 world model that was downloaded uh, by this command right so we already have it in our working directory then comes setting of the classes so this is the part where we set the classes um, this is where we tell the yolo world model what we want detected uh, and here we have set hard hat gloves and safety glasses as the uh, cl classes that we want to set uh, once we run this it goes into the model and sets those classes as the ones that we want to detect uh, following that uh, here we are just saying that you know what we have set this model we have created this model and then we save it as a yolo v8 model um, so that later on we can just load this model and do our inference so here we then go ahead and say that you know what uh, here is our model the custom yolo v8 that we have saved uh, after deriving it from the yolo world model and we just load that model and now over here we are gonna uh, perform inference to detect hard hats gloves and safety glasses in this input video that i showed you in the beginning so when we run this here is the output you can see that it's able to detect gloves it's able to detect hard hats and uh, in some cases there are some false positives but in most cases uh, it's able to give you a detection and it's doing it at a very good accuracy and keep in mind uh, this was a model that has never seen this data right it was trained on um, uh, some predefined data sets uh, none of this was trained on the video or on in a setting 
shown in this video so all we've done is we've loaded a pre-trained model here and we have told it to detect these classes in this input video which we've never shown it before so this uh, is adding to the testament that uh, given uh, a problem in an industrial setting for example in a mine that you want to resolve or something that you want to detect this kind of open vocabulary model it can be as simple as giving it an input prompt with regards to things you want detected and it being able to do that without any custom fine tuning without any more engineering effort um, and it's doing it in a real time so imagine you were in a mine setting you want to detect people or you want to detect some equipment um, and as long as it is relevant to things that what have seen in the past you just tell it that these are the classes we want detected and voila it's able to do that so let's try another class here so here we just basically again load the YOLO model the world model and we tell it that you know what just detect the person class and see if it's able to detect people in the video so when we run it here here you see it's able to detect people in the video distinctly and with a very high accuracy now guys uh, this is very important right you want to detect you want to track people in a mine you want to detect whether there is some person in a hazard location you can uh, set fail safes using this as well right so say that um, there is a machine being operated somewhere and you don't want anyone to be present in the field of view of the camera as long as soon as you see someone there you trigger an alarm or you shut the machine down for the safety of the mine workers how important it is to save uh, injuries to save lives uh, uh, and, and this can act as a safety trigger uh, with such an ease of implementation so that's it in this video we have talked about the setup and uh, talked about how you can run the YOLO world model on your specific set of uh, images. Uh, we've shown how we can set it up, we have shown how you can set the classes and then how you can run inference and prediction using that model. The code for this is in our GitHub repository, the link is in the description below. If you like this video guys, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you are notified about any new video that we upload. Again, thanks for tuning in and in case you need assistance, you want to talk about your specific project, you are in an industry or you are facing problems in your industrial setting, for example in mining or any other kind of industry and you think computer vision AI can resolve that problem, which I'm sure it can, you can feel free to get in touch with us. The contact information is over here and we would be happy to help you through that problem. Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you in the next video.